What it do, K Life Squad? Back at it with another video, episode six. And I just want to say thank you to everybody in the K Life world. We about to turn it up. This episode six. I wanted to keep it, you know, for the first little rounds. I ain't want to dig deep into the things that I'm really about to get in talking to. Get in talking to. What you talking about, K? Yeah, really about to get into. So, y'all lay around, man. We about to get deep into my life, for one. And um, more importantly, deep into the world. When I say deep into the world, I mean, like, into my world. And not just my life, but everything that goes on in my world, you know. Um, this episode is going to be a little different. I know we used to get turned, used to, you know, getting into topics and everything like that. But I felt like this was something that I needed to do. This is something that... um was long overdue. This was a journey and a process and a time in my life where, you know, things were different and um, it molded me and grew me into the person that I am. And most importantly, the person I am to the world now, you know, and I think that we need to bring more awareness, awareness to this and don't take it lightly. You know, when someone come in, when someone tells you, you know, they're dealing with depression or they dealt with depression. It's not like something that just goes away completely forever. You can get better like me, um, but it's real, you know, and being, I feel like I'm a depression survivor. <laughs> I don't even know if there's something, but I can honestly say that I went through it for a very long time and um, I even had to circle back to some family members and just apologize, you know, for the way and the person that I was, you know, and one person, most importantly, um, that I did have to apologize to is my mother. You know, um, I love mommy, mommy. I love you, girl. I love my daddy. Um, I love my parents, you know, and they have, of course, been with me my whole life, but most importantly, um, they dealt with me and they helped me, you know, and for a long time, I just didn't realize how valuable, you know, just being here and just being able to wake up and be able to get another chance at doing it because everybody ain't getting it. You feel me? So I had to, you know, apologize to my mom because from 2013 to like 2019, I'm going to say like, I honestly can say mentally I wasn't stable and i don't mean that though know, like i was crazy or i couldn't you know function correctly but i honestly wasn't in the state of mind that i am now and most importantly as well i have to thank god you know and i got to give him the very 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 most ups and respect you feel me because he has gotten me through so much and because of him i'm still here to be honest you know um i dealt with depression for years and i never voiced it to anyone like i didn't i've never voiced being depressed or being in those ways until now to my family to uh a couple friends you know but nobody could really tell you know because i didn't live a depressed life but when i was alone i had those times and i had those moments and i got to a point where i just used to look at myself and not a disgusted way but in a way I, I was unsure i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know my purpose i didn't know what i had to do on this life and if anybody know one of the worst feelings on this planet is to not know your purpose like when you just living and just going about your daily routines and just doing things but not knowing your purpose it's a whole different ball game you know and i'm just thankful that you know now i know my purpose now i know what it is i'm supposed to do and that's be the best youtuber i can be but not nah, real talk though so now I know, you know, my my lane. Now I know what I'm supposed to do for me in my life and to just be a better person, you feel me? And I used to not know that, <laughs> you know? And a lot of time, 
is not even just not knowing your purpose, but certain relationships, you know, and not even just talking about, uh, you know, girl, girl, boy, boy, girl, boy relationships or friendships. You feel me? Like all of that come into tie with, well, it, just speaking for myself, it came into tie with my depression, you know, um, several relationships at times and just trying to find a woman that truly, you know, love me for me and want me for me and adore me for me and just not loving myself enough, you know, thinking that, oh, I need a woman or I need a friend or I need it to be complete. And I don't. <laughs> and I did, you know, I have been by myself for over a year now and I've been literally loving on myself giving myself all of me and when I say I thank God because timing is everything you know and I can't say oh I, if I then I, I would have but nah everything happens at the time that it's supposed to happen you know and where I'm at is where I'm supposed to be at this time and I don't take anything for regret I lived and I've done everything that I'm supposed to do because that was my path you feel me? So I don't regret anything, but the way that I have made been acting in those years to family and friends. But besides that, my living process and what got me to where I'm at today, I don't regret it. I was in crazy situationships, you know. I used to put me second, man. man. What's good? Hey, you better. Man, I gotta. Pat myself on the back because y'all when I say like this is a great feeling I have I can honestly say I don't think I've ever loved myself this much and I've always loved myself though that's the crazy thing I've never like thought I was ugly I never thought you know I never beat myself I always knew I was it but I know now that I'm just like I'm I'm on, you feel me? And when I say that, I mean like I'm fully intrigued. I'm fully engaged into me. And the greatest part about that is God has opened doors and opened rooms in my mind for me and outlets for me to see that like I am important. I am worth it. I am everything. I deserve everything, man. Like is no limit that I can't reach. It's nothing that I can't do. And it's nowhere that I can't be. Like, I'm I'm really doing everything that I pray for, everything that I've manifested is really happening. Now, I kid you guys not, like, certain things that I kid, like, would make me back then, don't even phase me. I be, sometimes it be scary, because I'd be like, whoa, why are you not mad? And then I also got to be like, yo, I'm thankful I'm not mad. <laughs> like, I'm thankful that I'm not the person that I used to be. I'm thankful that I don't react how I used to react. I'm thankful that I've gotten over things and people that I thought I needed in my life. And when you get to this point, you got to be thankful, man. And you can't take it for granted because although I'm here where I'm at, there's still people that's depressed, that don't know their next move as looking for an outlet, looking for someone to listen. And that's why for me, it's so important, like for my friends and my family, like hey, I'm one call away. Anytime anybody can tell you when we're talking, I don't even have to tell like my friends to tell you, my family to tell you, it's a different vibe. You feel me? It's a different aura. It's a different energy. And it's only to uplift. I um, ain't speaking negativity into nothing. I ain't talking negative about nothing. I'm trying to go up and I want everybody around me to go up. And I can't live without them. I'm not that person that's going to put on like, oh, I'm good off them. Nah, y'all boys ain't going nowhere. I, I, I can't let up on my friends. I can't let up on my family. And that's because they are major keys to my success, major keys to me being depression. So, um... It would be crazy <laughs> for me to let up all your boys, man. And I know, I already know who y'all are. And I need y'all to know that I need y'all. And we ain't going nowhere. I can't live without y'all. We can't do that. So, yeah. 
I just want y'all to know that, man, hey, we, we, we going up. Um, depression is real. If you have anybody that you come encounter with, it don't even got to be nobody you know. Like, bro, like, I kid you not, when I'm in public, I compliment people all the time. It could be anything and everything, bro. You can have on a nice bangle. You can have a nice slipper, bro. I'm complimenting. Like, the other week, I'm in Publix. I'm just standing in a line, you feel me? Waiting in line, chilling on my buggy. And an uh, older lady, um, she was in front of me. And she had, like, some pearls. And she had, like, a nice little suit. And I said, Mama, you rocking that. And she turned around. She said, thank you, beautiful. And I said, nah, you look, you look good. And you can tell in her face, like... Y'all wouldn't believe this lady started crying. Like, she was so moved by my compliments. And, like, she had a friend that had walked up. And she was like, um, she was like, she, oh, she said my press kit. She was like, I told her she looked good. I said, yeah, nah. Whatever you doing, you keep doing it. You look good, mama. And she was just crying. Like, she was like, thank you so much, beautiful. Thank you. And like that, it felt good to get, you know, like to see somebody like, I know that that compliment made her feel good. You feel me? And it's like, that's okay. We got to compliment each other. We got to uplift people. And it don't always have to be somebody that you know. You feel me? So if somebody come with you and not come with you, but like if they come to you and they just want to talk or if you see somebody down, like lift them up. And it felt good, you know. I'm in the gym all the time. And when I see people and I see they, I'm in the gym all the time. And when I see people consistently coming or like, you know, doing, you can tell like they pushing themselves. I'm always like, hey, whatever you do, keep it going. And they be, you feel me, they big me back up. And it's like, it's all love, man. Like, bro, I'm smiling at people. I'm just talking to people. And it's because I know where I came from. I know what I've been through. I know how it felt before to be in a dark place. And I'm not ever going to be there again. When on oh my mama, when I say God, when ain't nobody around me can honestly say that they've been just in a shut place or just been down. Or like, bro, I'm finna uplift you. I'm finna turn you up. I'm finna uplift you. And we gonna get it rocky. You feel me? And that's because, again, I know what I've been. And I know how it feels to be in a closed space in your mind and just want to give up and not knowing. But nah, I'm just here to say that. I feel like I beat depression. I can honestly say uh, it's been about 20, 21, 22. I'm gonna say three years that I've been on my faith walk with God and I can't thank him enough and I can't thank my friends enough again I know I know man but they be they be boosting me y'all like if you don't have a good company around you I think that's an important thing for you to have great people around you that want to see you win because it ain't gonna be nothing but good vibes every time you talk to your people they go up if they go they proud of you they gonna motivate you they gonna give you input they gonna give you even give you advice. Like, I, I'm open to everything for my... I don't play that, bro. Like, I'm not shutting that down. I want to hear it all. Just keep yourself around great people, man. And keep yourself around people that love you genuinely. Not people that want to be around you, see what you're doing and seeing what you got or seeing who you day in or seeing all that... All that's irrelevant. So I just wanted to come to you guys because this topic was heavy on me and I think it's important and depression is real. So do not X nobody out, y'all. Like, don't don't turn your back on nobody. If they come to you and they depressed or they just not their selves, you got to be able to eye it too sometimes, you feel me? So I just want y'all to be great. I want y'all to know that I love y'all. <laughs> and to everybody in the world, man, just keep, keep boosting, keep being good people out here, help the world, help people, man. So with that being said, y'all already know what time it is. I'm going to go ahead and end this right here. Um, thank you guys for coming and hearing my story. Um, and just hearing a little background about me and what I've gone through and why I am the happy person that I am today. And I just want to say thank y'all for giving me this opportunity to be the person I am today as well. So, to the next video, y'all already know what time it is. I love y'all forever. We out. <laughs>